I'm just gonna wait a few minutes for people to pop on. I came on about a minute early, just to get everything set up. I'm pretty much set up and everything, but I'll wait for some people to pop on. I'm gonna be doing a, um, I'm gonna be reviewing a new paint today that was sent to me. So this is gonna be a first impression. Um, the Ambulant um, Garden Swing by the Chippy Barn. So this is going to be my first impression. I've never used this paint before. I've heard many great things about it. Um, people who paint their furniture in this with this paint, it looks amazing. <clears throat> so um, I am. I got selected to do just a content creator campaign, and I got to select a color that I wanted, and I chose the color Garden Swing, which is this one right here. And you can see that there's um, a bunch of different colors. And they also let me pick out a wax, and I picked um, a clear wax, and it's scented lilac. It smells so good. That's what it looks like right there. So again, I am a little early. And I'm going to be painting these nesting tables here. You don't really need to see me. Um, but I will go through the whole process of opening up the paint, stirring it, my thoughts on how it goes on. Um, my thoughts on what it looks like when it's dry, uh, my thoughts on the wax, and what I like about it. So I'm going to go ahead and pop open this can of paint right here. It says to not shake it, so I did not shake it at all. I've opened it twice already just um, so I could do some previews on Instagram and Facebook. But as you can see, um, it kind of settles. So you do want to make sure that you stir it very well, which I'm going to do right now. It's a beautiful green, gray color. It's very neutral. I'll bring you guys closer um, in a bit, but I'm just going through all the steps as I would any other um, any other process I would by painting a piece of furniture, you know, step by step. So just mixing the paint really well. Again, uh, this is going to be a first impression on the Chippy Barn Emulent Garden Swing Paints. They sent this to me. I picked out the color. Um, they're doing um, a content creator campaign. And I'm actually not supposed to start until tomorrow, but tomorrow I have a phone interview. <laughs> hey, Mitzi. Hey, Tom. And I have a phone interview tomorrow, so um, I couldn't do it then, so I'm doing it today. But I do have an affiliate code that um, people can use to get 10% off this product um, if they wanted to purchase it, and that starts tomorrow. So this is what the color looks like. It's really pretty. I don't think I've ever painted with this color before, and I have a lot of paint. So again, this is my first impression. Thanks for joining me, you guys. So I think I got it stirred pretty well. Again, um, this is the wax that I chose. It is scented lilac. It goes on clear. It looks pink, but it goes on clear. I haven't used it yet. That's just what I've been told and what people have said. So I'm really excited to do this campaign with them as a content creator. It's a fun way to um, get your name out there 
and to get, you know, trying new pain. And I hope you guys can hear me well enough. Give me a, um, a thumbs up or a heart if you guys can hear me. Because it is hot and I have some fans going on. All right. Can you guys hear me okay? So I'm just going to use, um, they said just to use any brush that I had. So I'm gonna use um, two different brushes and I'm going to be doing some nesting tables that I painted a while ago, like eight years ago. I just went ahead earlier today, sanded them down, cleaned them really well, and um, prepped them for this piece. So I'm just gonna pour out a little bit of paint onto my palette. small one and then the middle one I'm going to do a different color. So let's start with the big one. I'm just going to get this one out of the way. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the process of what I would do um, from start to finish. So again, I already cleaned and prepped this paint, uh, this table. So I have a question from Mitzi. It's where do I come up with my artistic ideas? From magazines, internet, or what? Uh, Mitzi, that's a great, a great question. Um, it just comes to me, honestly. I get a lot of inspiration from, obviously, people on Instagram. There's so many talented people there, and um, I kind of put pieces together in my head on what I want things to look like. Um, I try not to copy anybody, um, but that's where I usually get my inspiration. But usually, I just kind of go on the fly. You know, I just start painting, and it just comes to me. And it just comes to me like that. Like I never, like when I first start a piece, I never really have a vision of what it looks like. Um, until I get like maybe halfway and then it starts to, it starts to come together, if that makes any sense. So as you can see, this color is really pretty. It's going on nice and smooth. This has really nice coverage. All I have to do is just like one swipe and it's like full coverage. I might only have to do um, one coat of paint on this. I like to do long, um, long even strokes. I don't like to go like this because you want you don't want to have any um, brush lines at all but this is a very beautiful neutral green let's see
again, I'm doing a first impression with the Chippy Barn. Um, I've never used their paint before. I am a content creator for them, just trying out their paint, giving my feedback on how I like it, how it performs, and basically just my thoughts, just to share with um, everybody on social media. Calvin, thanks for joining. I am testing out a new paint that was sent to me. It's a beautiful, um, it's called Garden Swing. It's a beautiful greenish gray. It's a very neutral color. And I'm just doing a first impressions on it. I got to pick out the color that I wanted for this uh, content creator campaign. So I'm really excited about that. I do have an affiliate code. If anybody wants to buy paint, that code starts tomorrow and it's Amanda 10 for 10% off of your purchase. And that runs for one week. But this is going on extremely smooth. Now with all the other paints that I have used, I always have my Mr. Bottle and I spray. This isn't a chalk paint, I don't believe, I don't know too much about this brand, but I haven't sprayed water on it once and it's performing really well. But yeah, it's like super smooth, like it literally goes on like butter. And I'm not having to go over it a lot, which is nice. So I'm not wasting a lot of paint. I hope you guys can see that okay. It's hard because I have the, um, the comments up so it's kind of hard for me to see what I'm doing on the screen. So uh, again, this, these are nesting tables. There's three of them. The top one and the bottom one I'll be doing in this color and then the middle one I'll be doing like maybe a white color I think would look good for just a very neutral looking um, nesting table. So again, this table was painted eight years ago with Annie Sloan paint. I sanded it down, I washed it, I prepped it all nice and good for this paint to go on. Um, as I would with any other piece, of course. of an art background but I do have background in makeup um, doing makeup so I had um, I still actually do have my Instagram 
my beauty channel where I would do beauty tutorials and review makeup. And I would post a lot of videos on, on um, YouTube, which was a lot of fun. So I think that's where I get, you know, I think that's where this comes in handy. Like, it's just another form of art. But I, I definitely think the makeup has helped me with like blending colors, knowing like the color wheel and knowing kind of what goes, what would go good with what. Um, I think that's really helped me in that aspect. I did take art class in, call, in um, high school, but you know, everybody takes art class in high school. But ever since um, the beginning of March, I picked up a paintbrush because I got furloughed and I just started painting. And I have not put a paintbrush down ever since. And I've just kind of taken off un unexpectedly. Like, I never thought in a million years um, I would be painting furniture and selling it like as fast as I have been. So I'm really blessed that that has all worked out really well for me during um, the hard times going on right now. So if you guys are just popping on, I am doing a um, first impression on the Chippy Barn on this color Garden Swing, which is a beautiful green color. It's very neutral. Did you guys have any plans today? Anything fun going on down there? All right, so Calvin, you're worried about choosing a piece to work on. So I would suggest if you're a beginner, start on something small. That's what I did. I got a really small table from Goodwill and I painted it, um, not knowing what I was doing at all. Just start small. Just get a few supplies. You don't need to go out and buy everything that you see people have on the internet. All you need is a couple good brushes. You can even start out with acrylic paint. Um, or you can 
you know, go and find a chalk paint. They have um, some really good Waverly chalk paints at Walmart that are really cheap, and that's a really great option to start out. Um, really great option to start out because paints like chalk paints and like this paint can get pretty expensive. So that's what I would. That's what I would recommend. Something small, and then just work your way up to like what I have done. Um, because you don't want to spend, let's say, $75 on a piece and bring it home and be like, oh no, like, what do I do? Like, I have no idea. What did I get myself into? So that's what I did. I just started small, just working myself up to bigger pieces, like dressers and... Gosh, I think I've painted dressers, um, tables, a lot of end tables, um, vanities, mirrors, frames. You can find frames at the dollar store and just paint those. Just like I have up here. I'll show you, I'll show you guys in a sec. What do you always have in your pockets, Jean? Well, I really only wear leggings, <laughs> so I don't carry much in my pockets. But if I were to have one thing in my pocket, it would be chapstick. Maybe chapstick. All right, so this paint is looking very nice. I missed some spots. Let me just go over. Oh yeah, I missed a whole spot right here. And thank you guys so much for the questions. It really helps me out and be more comfortable with the lives. Um, I am part of um, a group called um, the Creative Connection with Dion Woods, and she it's a master class and she helps us just be more comfortable with lives and you know how to talk in front of the camera and how to basically talk to yourself. It's, it's kind of weird. I'm kind of used to it but at the same time, it's I'm kind of used to it because I used to do makeup on YouTube, but this is different because I'm like painting somebody something for somebody that they're gonna buy, and I have like a whole bunch of people watching me. So I don't know. I just feel like it's totally different, if that makes sense. But Dion Woods has helped me a lot with um, uh, in her class. Hey Erin, thanks for joining. Do you like painting newer items or antique items? That's a great question. I love thrifting and finding junk and turn, turning it into funky, awesome, unique pieces. Hence my name, Vintage Junk to Funk. Um, funny story, I was at work and that name just kinda, it just came to me, Vintage Junk to Funk. And I texted my husband and he's like, yeah, that's an awesome name. So it just kinda stuck to me and every time I hop on someone's live or post on someone's picture or something i always get a comment on how they love that name so i'm pretty happy with the name i chose because you're basically taking junk and turning it into something beautiful one of a kind unique and that's what i love 
And I love it when people come over here and tell me how beautiful it is. Even when I'm still like, oh my God, is it still like, did I do a good job? Did, did I do a bad job? Should I lower the price? And so it still, it makes me feel good that people love my work. <laughs> so. so it looks like I painted, I got some drips over here. So, my first impressions on this paint, it's definitely different than the regular chalk paints that I have been using. Um, it kind of goes on a little streaky, to be honest with you. I've had to go over certain spots a few times, and you can still see there are some brush strokes and it's kind of streaky. Now, I don't know if that's user error, if I'm just not used to it. And see, there's a drip right there. And I'm doing everything the same that I would a normal piece. Um, there's lots of drips. I'm finding lots of drips everywhere. So it's a lot thinner than a chalk paint. Um, so first impressions, it's very thin. You have to watch out for um, drips because I'm finding them all over the place. I'm going to have to do a second coat for sure. They recommend you waiting two hours to do that. So um, they recommend you waiting two hours before you paint the second coat and then um, you seal it with this any wax but the clear wax and lilac they have scented or unscented waxes Go ahead and do the smaller table now if you guys want to keep on if you guys can't it's totally okay I understand if you can't stay with me I'm trying to find where I put my paint oh here it is but thank you guys so much for the questions So this is the smaller table, the smaller one of the three. So the middle one I am doing in a different color. This is a first impression for the Chippy Barn paint in Garden Swing. Now these were previously painted eight years ago in a different paint. Let's see, I'll just hit that table. What is your favorite piece you've done? Is it hard to part with some of them after you're after you put so much work into them? Yes, absolutely. There has been a few pieces that I did not want to sell at all because I just couldn't believe I painted it that well. Hey Angie, thanks for joining. Uh, real quick, before I finish Jean's question, um, I'm doing a first impression on 
the Chippy Barn paint. This is their wax, but the Chippy the Chippy Barn paint in shade Garden Swing. And um, I'm part of the content creator program, so I'm just doing a first impressions, letting everybody know what my thoughts are on the paint. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm painting some nesting tables. It's a beautiful greenish, grayish uh, color. Very, very neutral. But Jean, um, or Rachel, I think it's Rachel. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you guys remember that big dresser with the mirror that I put 55 molds on with the um, 55 flower molds. And I colored it, or I painted it in the shade Blueberry. It was the antique 1940s dresser. And that took me a couple weeks to do. And I just painted the frame and I left the, um, I left the drawers completely wood so you can see the wood and that was hard to let go um and the piece that i just did called snow cone that you guys saw that just sold a couple days ago that was really fun to do that was hard to let go because it was a bombay dresser and it was very like very old I love Bombay dressers. I actually have two more that I found that I'm gonna paint. So I'm not too sad about it because I have two more, but um, yeah. There's always gonna be that feeling of sadness when you let go of something after you put so much time and effort into it. But I'm also happy that it's going to someone who really loves it and um, is going to cherish, cherish, cherish it for a very long time. Angie, how was your day today? You guys having a good day? Is it hot out there? I went to the grocery store. That's about what I did today. I painted a candlestick holder because I got some new um, Opal Magic paints in that are like, they, they, they shift colors depending on if you're painting like a dark piece or a white piece. So I painted a candle holder in black and white, and I'm going to be doing a review on those. Um, so I'm just kind of getting stuff ready, but I'm really excited about this paint. I think it's beautiful. Um, it is runny though, as far as like my first impressions. It's gonna need two coats of paint. It's very runny and it I I find a lot of drips. So I'm just used to painting with other paints, which is fine. Um I'm very excited to be a part of this content creator program campaign.
am loving the shade of this color. I've never um, have painted anything else in this shade. So I'm very excited. Um, this set will be for sale, so I will not be keeping it. Um, and if you guys ever have questions about my furniture and um, pricing or whatnot, you can always just message me. I also do commission work, so if you want something painted, if you have a piece at your house that is looking kind of boring and it needs an upgrade, I am there for you. I will help you out. So I will make it look brand new and give it life back. These nesting tables are kind of hard because there's so many, you know, <laughs> so many angles. So I have been noticing there are a lot of drips and I don't know, like I said, if that's just me, if I'm picking up too much paint, but I am, uh, I don't feel like I'm picking up too much paint, um, but yeah, there's drips and it will need a second coat. It says to wait two hours for it to dry and you can see the top you can see that it's going to need a second coat because you can see the blue and the white coming through and obviously this is the lighter color than the blue so i would put two coats regardless So who's on with me? Anybody still on? Or am I by myself? So I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can see the color. And then tomorrow, um, I'll come on a little bit earlier and do, um, actually I'll do a second coat later tonight and tomorrow I'll come on and do the clear wax so you guys can see the final project. So this one looks like it's um, pretty much dry. It's beautiful. It's a matte finish. It's a very beautiful green um, shade. It's going to need two coats. And this one is drying. So, bring you guys up a little bit. Alright, so again, I thank you guys so much for watching. 
me do my first impression on the Chippy Barn Paint in Shade Garden Swing. This was so much fun. I'm so excited to be a part of this campaign that they're doing. Um, I do have an affiliate code. Um, it's Amanda10. It starts tomorrow for one week and you get 10% off your purchase. And that is at the chippybarn.com. Um, I'll put it in the description when I'm done with this live video. But yeah, I have to wait for these to dry. I'll put a second coat on and tomorrow I'll show you guys how the clear wax goes on. But as far as my first impressions, I like how smooth it is. Um, it is very drippy. You can still see brush marks. It definitely needs a second coat. Um, there's not really a scent to it, so that's good. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.